Women are being murdered. Ellie Bly, I'd like to introduce you to our publisher, Joseph Pulitzer. It is a great honor. Bly is not your real name. If this fails, it is not her reputation that is on the line. The world newspaper would like you to infiltrate Blackwell's Island Lunatic Asylum for Women. To get in, I will have to be committed. I will teach myself to be mad. <laughs> Absolutely everyone must believe I am insane. How will you get me out after I once get in? I do not know. It is vital that you not be revealed. Your very life may be threatened. This is not a place that you want to wait long if you don't need to be here. Nelly Brown! The doctor wants you. I'm the superintendent. How are you today? Blackwell's will one day be a utopian example of the most advanced treatment of the insane. Give me that! No reading. We're not allowed to read? No. Nothing that excites the mind of fevered thinking. Let me kill you! Let me kill you! You're in an insane asylum! <laughs> One of the nurses took this from Nellie Brown. Very articulate for a mental patient. What do you know about her? She's arrogant and a troublemaker. I understand you've been having fever thinking and hallucinations. Delusions such as these can be cured with medication. Send her to the crematorium. It is cruel to lock people up and then freeze them. I have watched insanity slowly creep over minds that had appeared to be all right. They're doing this to me because of you. No. Blackwell's is not a place of healing. It is a rat-infested human death trap. You knew that women in here were being murdered. How can you say it was murder? A woman has no voice when a man signs her away as insane. I'm trying to bring these people some relief. By killing them. The job of a reporter is to tell the truth to the people truth that would otherwise not be known. There are many truths here in Blackwell's. It is, after all, an asylum for the insane. You must keep your spirits up. If you give up now, the good may arrive and you will not know it. <laughs>